Hello there and welcome back to StarCrafter. Today we're going to be showing off Nova vs. Alarak, the hard counter! You heard that right, this matchup is going to be painful for Alarak. And if we can get some love in the comments down below for Haterade, who has volunteered to be our designated victim of today. Or rather, just a designated opponent. So I'm going to be doing a standard, my normal opener, where I get gas first, and then Nova with the HP regen upgrade, and then start tech 2. Uh, as if I don't know my who my opponent is. And right there, I get to see that my opponent is Alarak. So immediately, I'm going to do something that I wouldn't do for any other matchup i am going to cancel my tier 2 upgrade that is right we're going for tier 1 play here which is very strange especially for nova and that tier 1 play is marines just it's marines it's literally just marines and more marines because alarak doesn't have a whole lot of way to deal with them it just seems that alarak's early game at least isn't all that big on value Alarak himself is quite strong. You see, my ally here is, let's see, Snipey going Alarak and Pans. He's probably going to attack Tychus. No, he's going Phoenix. All right. Well, we can just kind of outvalue Alarak in the early game here with our Marines. And we're going to do just that. Because these Marines, as you guys may have experienced from StarCraft, Marines are quite good on just, they're just good units. The issue is that they die to splash damage. And Alarak doesn't have splash damage in the early game. So we can just kind of kill him off. It's um, it's quite good, to be honest. Uh, he can actually win this first wave. I think we're going to see it here. Yeah, I think that's enough supplicants to have him win. That's just because Alarak is quite good. But um, he's going to have to get tech tier, uh, tech level 2 to start getting AoE to start dealing with our marines. And it's not going to it's not gonna end well for him because there's just so much value out of... So much value out of our marines here. They're just so good. 150 HP at 9 damage every 0 0.61 seconds. That's not even... That's not even with Stimpak active, which gives them additional attack speed. Of, it, it gives them 50% attack speed and then heals them because that's super Stimpak and it heals them. We're about to have a full line of Marines here. And with that, it's his hopes of his hopes and dreams of winning are over. He may have won the second wave, but he's not going to win any of them from here on out. Especially not if Phoenix is permitted to get a, an ability off. But it, it's really not necessary because the Marines will just come in here and finish them off. Now, Marines, the reason why you never go Marines in any other matchup is because they kind of fall off super hard. You can just kind of go Mass Marine with Nova and win a, a fair few matchups and games. The issue is that most commanders, like, there's already Banelings on the field out of Stepman. It's, you can't, you can't just go Marines and expect good things to happen. Things do not happen. It's specifically versus Alarak that he cannot keep up with them. And this will help us win the early game as well as most other things. So his other options are Stalkers. Super Marines beat Stalkers. His other options are Immortals. Marines quite good versus Immortals. I see the Brutalisk. That's... He's already Tier 3. So, I mean, at least you know how to deal with that. Easy life for you, I suppose. Is that he may actually... Alright, so he does micro that. Uh, he doesn't even... I, I kind of expected him to lose the first wave because it's just an unexpected thing you'd have to never have to deal with, but not even. Not even. Alright. So let's see, what are the other options? So technically, Alarak's vanguards are AoE. They're not particularly great AoE, and Marines will still kind of beat down the vanguards up until the later game. Until you have like 15 minutes worth of vanguards, then the marines will stack up enough for the AoE to make the difference. But by then, it's been like 15 minutes and things are really bad. And by then, at the, by the 15 minute mark, I have plenty of time to build other things like, I don't know, banshees, liberators, hollow decoys. So it's it's not a great experience for for uh, Alarak here. I'll go ahead and get you upgraded and then the infantry weapons plus one. Giant, giant Brutalisk versus Giant Immortal, who wins? It's not the Brutalisk. Uh, it's generally, when you see an Aberthur go Brutalisks, there's there's very, very niche cases to go Brutalisks, and uh, you don't see it very commonly. So generally, once you see an, an Aberthur go Brutalisk, it's just like someone's throwing the game. 
We got the plus one armor. Let's go ahead and get our gas upgrade because we can, because we've been winning for so long. Also, just took the bunker because Alarek has to do some kind of super shenanigans to even try to come back from this. It's, it's a rough time for everyone involved. And then we'll start getting tier 2 and start working on our other units. Now, really, what units we need at this point, we have so much value ahead of our Alarak opponent that it's really the units we get are going to be determined by what my opponents are. Let's say I'm pushing into pink. <sighs> so I'm going to have to get units that deal with pink here. But if we're talking strictly... I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think of what units I would need. But if we're talking strictly Alarak here, the ones that we want to get for versus Alarak are going to be a couple Covert Banshees to deal with all the Supplicants. Because the Covert Banshee ability just kind of chunks through Supplicants. And the Supplicants send the group up because that's because they're short range and they want to get around here. Uh, it's The Stepman matchup, I do want... I do want Strike Goliath, but I don't really want Strike Goliath versus versus Alarak, so I'm trying to think what other units would be quite good. I think the Liberator's just going to be the better call there, just to deal with those. Alright, so now we're here. Let's just get Banshees out here first, because they work well versus everything. They can just kind of chill around being cloaked and getting free damage off. And versus Alarak, they just do terrible, terrible things, because Alarak's anti-air is Slayers and Void Rays, mostly. Which... Both of which are not terribly good versus Banshees. Sure, Void Rays can bring down Banshees eventually, but they don't do it quickly. And Marines will certainly blow any Void Rays out of the sky by that time. And the Banshees just kind of... They're kind of good versus Slayers, because Slayers don't do much damage to Banshees. Let's go ahead and get the Ghost Visor and the Cloak for the Banshees. Uh, the thing that makes Covert Banshees really good is their ability, the Rocket Barrage, 75 damage to enemy ground units in an area. So you can just kind of Rocket Barrage groups of Supplicants, and then you don't have groups of Supplicants anymore, which kind of mitigates the whole the whole Alarak thing. It doesn't have anything to consume. Alright, I, th I think I think you're going to have to start getting some... We're so far ahead of Tychus, he's not, he's not coming back for a long while. So let's just get some, let's just get some Strike Goliaths up on the field to deal with Gary here. Make sure to spread them out so they don't eat baneling damage. Uh, do I want... Let's see how... Oof, I already got the marine range, so it's going to be the same as the goliaths. Alright, let's get the goliath range, just so that they don't walk into the... They don't be, aren't directly adjacent to the marines, so they take less splash damage to the banelings. Because the thing about goliaths is they die pretty, pretty, pretty strongly to things like slayers and vanguards, which are on the field already. Was that a... I could just want to decide to send it there for a second. Must have, must have been seeing things. Oh, our stalkers are good. Yes, yes, they are. Unfortunately, they die. Unfortunately, or I suppose very fortunately, they die pretty, pretty strong to the marines. So, no big deal on our part. Is this going to be enough? Just the combo of the Phoenix to the Strike Goliath is enough to take down Super Gary. Uh, let's get a couple more of these guys. Just one here, and then one more over here, and then we'll we'll go back to dealing with Alarak. Making sure he doesn't come back ever. And for that, we're going to want some more Banshees. Conveniently, Banshees are also just kind of ignoring Super Gary and going straight for the Nexus. So we can kind of just fly past and kill off the Nexus here. Like, we're winning so hard that the Nexus is becoming vulnerable. And it's nine minutes. We already have damage on the Nexus. This is... This is the things you can do to Alarak when you are Nova, specifically. Which is quite, quite good for us, I think. Let's see. He kills off all the supplicants. Does he kill Alarak himself? He does. So it's just a couple guardians and some slayers, all of which die pretty well to elite marines. Let's go ahead and get an elite marine upgrade because we got two rows of them. Alright, so now, yeah. Micro Ultralisks. Goliath's not great versus those. Mm -hmm. right, just cast this. Thank you. Kill those off. Good job, Banshees. Get some more Banshees. Make sure that we take care of everything on the ground. Good job, team. Did it. Whatever those mutas. He's getting mutas now. Mutas die pretty... <laughs> yeah, I see. Uh, Phoenix eats mutas for breakfast. Okay, we're not going to get another one of those before the wave spawns. This is fine. And 
Alarak. Yeah, Alarak isn't surviving the Phoenix Wave anymore. So I, I do need to be building more toward the Stepman Wave. Also for dealing with these Guardians, which you really can only deal with by punching through the ground and walking up to them with Marines. Or Goliaths, whichever come first. Oof and a half. Alright, let's get another Banshee here, and I'm, then we're going to tech up and start getting the Hollow Decoys. The Hollow Decoys should deal with the Ultralisks pretty well, because they don't take, they don't become stunned, nor can they be absorbed by the life drain ability of the Stetman Ultralisks. They also help really well versus Alarak, and this is, this is one of the things I'm trying to get at. Uh, I'm able to take all this extra value from beating down Alarak with Marines, and spend it on other things. As long as I'm building things that both deal with Alarak and the next wave, then Alarak will never be able to beat our wave, even if he comes in clean after wiping it and has something like Guardian support. So, if I get Hollow Decoys, I should be able to hold those Ultralists in place for my Banshees to kill them off, as well as uh, the Hollow Decoys are just good versus Alarak, because Alarak's single target damage only comes in from Wrathwalkers, and he's nowhere near being able to field those without just losing to things like Banshees, Banshees and Marines. As Marines, they're quite good versus Wrathwalkers by virtue of being small units. Yep, alright, so let's cast these on here. Just get, nope, okay, didn't break the shields, rip. But we do kill off Super Gary, yes? No, almost. Almost got it, alright. Time for the Hollow Decoy. First Hollow Decoy is down. Very good. I don't care about the Lockdown Rockets because Super Gary does not get stunned by them because he is a hero. Or rather, because he's super scary, I suppose. That's a beautiful looking wave. Yeah, that's just gonna eat through all the things in front of it. Let's see, how are you doing here? Looks like Alarak's gonna live, question mark? He's gonna live long enough for my marines to come in and clean him up. Alright, where is Hollow Decoy? Did Hollow Decoy already die? Yes, they did. This is fine. Because now we have units that actually lived the Gary wave. Do this. It's active. Cast this here. And, did we get it? It's so close! I don't have any more ability cast. Come on! Yes! GG! Alright guys, if you want to keep up to date with more of these hard counter videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we've got many more of these coming soon. But for now, I'll see you guys later.